All right, friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing you your daily horoscope for Sunday Fun Day, the 5th of April, 2020. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful day ahead of us. All right, so the Neptune-Mercury conjunction that happened that was exact for their yearly conjunction was exact on Friday. Saturday was the once every 13 years Jupiter-Pluto exact conjunction. We will have this two more times coming up a little bit later during retrograde cycles. We'll talk about it more then. Um, but the energy is moving behind us, right? And through both of those, we can look at ourselves in this huge amount of growth. April, again, is growth. If you watch any of the monthly videos, you know, I've said it in every single video that this is a huge month for growth. You know, these April showers bring May flowers and we're all kind of blossoming. So we've been learning a lot the past couple of days, if not the past couple of weeks, about ourselves, who we are. And to one, I just want to say to be proud of ourselves. You know, each generation or cycle deals with something different as history shows us you know and what we're dealing with right now is a major point in history and how we're choosing to deal with it how we're choosing to grow through this process says a lot about our character and if we're using this um, to propel our own transformational growth, which I, I, I know everyone that watches this channel does, you know, um, that's why we're here. You know, we, we, we want to seek a better life for ourselves. And, and the energy that's coming up today on Sunday and lasting through April 27th, one of them has been going on. Uh, it, it's a, I'll show you the chart here. It is this biceptile between Neptune and the North Node. This started on March 25th. Okay, that's that dot, 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 dot line right down there to the North Node in Cancer. All right, water sign to water sign. Um, so this connection started March 25th and lasts through April 27th. Okay, now we also have Mercury here, planet of communication, information superhighway, uh, our intuition, uh, is connecting with Saturn here, that septile. There's another septile, that S, you see it right there. It might be hard to see on the screen. Uh, to Saturn. Saturn says, let's make things real. Neptune, sa uh, 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 Mercury says, let's communicate. Let's connect the dots. Let's connect these pieces. You know, Mercury's exalted in Aquarius. Why? Because it's fast, it's future thinking. Um, you know, it's it's like it's Aquarius is the water between the water in the air that allows electricity to flow. OK, and Mercury is that like electrical conductor. You know, so this rules the nervous system. And this is about that information, you know, spreading. OK, so we have this sense of futuristic thinking, futuristic grounding. You know, Saturn is, second home here is Aquarius, right? first ruler is, is Capricorn and old astrology was Capricorn and Aquarius. Uranus took over, but we still look at Saturn being the second ruler of Aquarius, okay? Uh, laws, Lord and order, karmically making things real, okay? So what are we trying to make real right now? Well, we're in the sign of future. We're in the sign of having a vision for our future, okay? Now, when we're having a vision for our future, we can't always look at, you know, we can't always look at the mud pit and say that's all this is. You know, for some reason, out of some random videos that I've been watching during this quarantine, and it's been these, uh, these dudes in the jungle somewhere that make these like crazy pools and like little houses, and they just literally use a stick, like a, a giant dowel that's sharpened like a giant pencil and just hack at the ground they'll use this pencil to kind of draw out and in a couple of days they've literally dug this huge pit and pool you know and it was just a piece of land it was just a piece of dirt and they you know there's now there's these um uh you know fire uh little totems with fire poles or whatever yeah i don't know like just crazy. It's just like, you know, having the vision to do something and then the energy to put forward and create it, right? 
So we're thinking about a new future of something. So we're not just looking at the mud pit or just the, the pile of dirt or whatever it is. We're seeing what it can be turned into with hard work, a little bit of elbow grease. Okay, the moon is over in Virgo saying, let's get some work done. Let's get focused, focused on what, what do I want? Regardless of what's happening around me, regardless of what is, what do I want to create? What do I want to put out there? What do I want to give back to humanity? You know, what can I, what can I do? What can I get focused on? Okay. Um, so Saturn connecting with Mercury, Mercury, where it is still, okay, the plus side of Mercury being in, in this position in, in Pisces is again, connecting with our intuition, connecting with our dream side, our imagination side of self. Okay. So when we use our imaginations and we have this imagination, uh, you know, creation station on one hand, and then over here, we have Big Papa Bear that says, your wish is my command. You know, that's what I love about Saturn is it's like, it's the genie. Saturn is the genie. Your wish is my command. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. There it is. You know, it, it, you know Saturn is like the basic law of attraction. All right. So what we're thinking about right now, hopefully we're, we're letting go a bit of worry adding a little bit more relief into ourselves one way or another. Okay. Um, turbulence can't last forever. So anyway, so if we're using our dreams, using our mind, using our imagination here to tap in, being emotionally guided, Moon and Virgo, what do we want? What do we need? What do I want to give back? How do I want to be of service? What services would I like to do even if I were a billionaire philanthropist, what would I be doing with my time? Um, and this is a great opportunity to make that concrete as this septile lasts uh, the next two days, Sunday, Monday, into Tuesday, a little foreshadowing. Um, so there's Monday as well. We've got that septile between Mercury and Saturn. Now the other one, we'll go back to Sunday here. The other one is Neptune here until the 27th of April, connecting with the North Node. Okay. Again, Connecting with our dreams, connecting with our imagination in a positive way, and connecting with our empathetic heart center, being caring, moving forward with a place, uh, a mindset of care and empathy. You know, in, in, this, in this connection, one way I want to look at this and talk about it is, you know, Pisces does deal with death and endings, just like Scorpio, you know, uh, the water sign you know, Pluto, Jupiter, conjunction, Pluto, death, rebirth. Okay, so there is an end. All right, when we come to the end of the zodiac, you know, the end of our life cycle, the end, the completion, we can look back and we choose and on what we say, you know, the, the old Egyptian thing, you know, does my heart weigh lighter than a feather at the end? This is just about our karmic being, right? Have I done good in this world? Have I, you know, gifted? Have I, have I cared about other people? Have I, you know, what have I given back and I contributed to society, humanity, uh, and karmically, you know, does my heart weigh lighter than this feather? So when we're coming to this end, this completion of something, something in our, all of our individual lives that we're coming to an end to, whatever that may be for us, is to look back you know, with an attitude of gratitude, being thankful, being caring and compassionate. You know, this is the last time we're going to see this energy. Uh, it takes 18 years for the nodes to go around, okay, uh, to come back for the North Node to be back in Cancer. It's going to take 18 years. By that time, Neptune will be gone. Neptune is a 176-year cycle, so we only get this once in our lives. You know, with Neptune being home in Pisces. This is the dreams. This is the big end. So a way to look at this is if we're on our deathbed, you know, um, what energy are we going to hold on to? Are we going to be, you know, it's just like, are we going to be cursing someone's name? <laughs> oh, you did this to me, <laughs> you know. Um, or do we find some sort of a resolution? You know, and how oh, life was good. And man, I'm thankful for the roller coaster of the ups and downs and all of, of everything that came my way, everything that came into my life, everything that left my life, everything I've attracted, everything I've repelled. You know, so throughout the month of April, you know, this is really to the very, quite, quite toward the end, with the 27th of April, um, 
that we have this opportunity for this great kind of healing, to use our mind, to use our imaginations, to tap in with our dreams, to tap into this closure, this, this an, an ending of, of a way of thinking, an ending of a way of holding on to um, old pain, old trauma, old emotional baggage, right? And this is like, okay, I can set down my warrior shield, I can set down my armor, I can set down my sword, because where I'm going now, I was in battle, and I needed them in battle, and I do not need them now. You know, it's almost like what we talked about on Fridays, you know, it's, it's like the dinner at the end of the night. You know, we've, the war is over. We can set down our armor. You know, we don't have to bring this extra weight to the table, right? That's what this weekend is teaching us right now. That one thing has ended. We can put away our armor. We can open up. We can release. We can surrender, you know, and we can eat that good meal. We can learn more about ourselves as Jupiter-Pluto conjunction, you know, really expand. This hasn't happened in a very long time, 13 years. And it hasn't happened in Capricorn since, what, the 1800s. <laughs> uh, this is really powerful, really beautiful medicine that we're all receiving right now. And on this Sunday Fun Day, I'm particularly grateful and thankful for that. And as well, Venus just freshly into Gemini, you know, it's like re-falling in love with all the little things in life. You know, these like little things. Love everything, right? And, and, and be excited. Find your passion, your glory, your, your empowerment, your beautiful sense of self. And it's like you have the power to forgive. You have the power to release, to set down the armor. You have the power to open up your heart. You have the power to focus your mind and your heart into setting your intentions forward of what you're trying to create. You know, this playground, this care center, this gymnasium, a pool, whatever it is that, you know, that, that, that dirt mound is right now. It's your imagination, your wants, your will that bring that into creative form and can allow that, uh, that dream to flourish. Yeah, so really powerful day powerful couple of days again that mercury saturn last sunday monday and uh good good energy my friends i hope you have a wonderful weekend i hope you have a beautiful sunday as always thank you so much we'll see you tomorrow